your village coach is here, Coach Wilfred Asukwa. Today, this subject is quite very emotional and touching. And before I start, I will really do not want you to try it if you don't have a reason to. But yes, I left my parents when I was 15 for the city of Lagos. My name is Coach Wilfred Asukwa. I am a capacity builder. I am also an IT consultant and trainer. I'm also a certified John Maxwell coach, a public speaker, as well as the founder of Zed Worldwide, a virtual coaching platform. Now, this story I'm going to be sharing with you is the reason why I actually set up a virtual coaching platform to coach and be a synergy to young people out there. And that's why I also created this channel so I can be a source of inspiration to young people. You see, growing up in the village wasn't something that was my choice. We don't decide which parent or whose parents should be our parents. You just find yourself on earth and whoever is your parents, that's what you have. And now there are some individuals who were being adopted by rich parents. And meanwhile, their parents were poor or their parents died. But rich parents, affluent parents adopted them and they live an affluent life. Some of us were not privileged to have affluent parents or rich parents that would give us the kind of life that some of you experienced in your childhood. So I grew up in the village and life was not pleasant. As I'm talking to you, the village is still the way it was possibly deteriorating more than how it was as at the time I was there. So I remember at the time, I was seeking to transition from secondary school to college and it was quite challenging because my parents couldn't afford my tuition fee and it wasn't something I could manage with them because my daddy expected me to get into farming with him until the following year and over the years I saw partisan farming in my community to be the only source of livelihood. I really did not like what I was seeing my eyes my mind my inner strength couldn't stand it i made a decision to pick up my bag and leave my parents at the very tender age of 15 for the city of lagos this is not a story this is not an action this is not something i can say i was proud of and this is not something i will want you to do if you don't have a reason to do it i left my parents and I relocated to Lagos. Life in Lagos wasn't as pleasant as I was thinking. Upon arrival in Lagos, a lot of my kingsmen, a lot of my village folks, they were busy doing errand boy, errand girls, um, security guards, um, name it. Every odd jobs, every menial jobs you could think of. And this was the same jobs they expected me to join them to indulge in. Well, that seems to be the only option or the only alternative that I had. That seems to be the only thing that could, you know, put food on my table, give me a shelter to leave. It was very rough. But you see, I never gave up the thought that I was going to return to college. I never gave up the thought. I never gave up the interest of the fact that I knew I belonged to something very, very unique. I never gave up the fact that I was made and created to be an elite. I was created to live among the wealth and the mighty. So I never gave up for any given reason. I didn't stop reading. I did not stop studying. I took the exams that I needed to take, seeking and, you know, applying to colleges to seeking and securing admission. Did I secure the admission? Yes. Was I able to fund them? No. But there was one that I was able to fund. The school fees was relatively 295 Naira at the time. And this is Federal Polytechnic Adoikiti I'm talking to you about. The Federal Polytechnic Adoikiti. That's why I ended up in the university. Now, this is why I ended up attending a polytechnic. Because it was cheap. Because I could afford it. Because, listen, at a given time, this is what was available for me 
and affordable for me to attend. And it is that same degree that has taken me places. It is that same degree that has stood me out among my equals. That same degree is what I am using to match my equals head on, apple for apple. So you can do it. It's not a function of which school you attended. Attending success, you know, um, becoming successful has nothing to do with which school did you attend, who is your parents, who are your parents, who is your family member. It has nothing to do with that. As you guys all know, with my virtual coaching platform, the high and mighty reaches out. The high and mighty, they reach out. Yes, I coach their children. I coach them as well. I add value to them. This has nothing to do with my background, the college I attended, absolutely nothing. So when I look back today, was it a great thing that I left to my parents? Absolutely, it was the best choice. It was the best action I ever took. But the thing is, the challenges along the way is not or are not what you want to go through. They're not what I want to talk about. But the good thing is, they made me stronger. They left me to be very, very resilient. The adaptability skills, the focus, the um, commitment skills, every soft skills you can think of, they came live in me. And that's why it has made me a very sound coach. I'm sure you can relate with this story. And a lot of you, you may have gone through worse situation than myself. But again, allow me to hold your hands. If you need us, if you need someone to talk to, yes, we are available. Use the link and book for your session one-on-one. -on -one, and we hold your hands on the journey. See you all at the top because the bottom is crowded. Mm -hmm.